back to oh, oh, Anderton's oh, oh. TV, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm the captain. And I am David Speed. Hello. He certainly is. <laughs> anyway, today, today we are looking at a new product. What are we looking uh, at today, from Lee? The uh, French company Two Notes. Mm. Um, and we know that the uh, French love a good revolution. And now they've even put that in a pedal. That's right. The Two Notes <laughs> Revolt. Um, is that what it means? Revolution. Revolt. revolt. Yeah, revolution. Yeah. If you have a if you have a revolt, you have a revolution. I, I didn't know. realize that. Uh, there well, are okay, two versions enough. of this. There's a guitar version, and, and there's then, a bass version. Version. Uh, and this is multi, multi kind of applicable, 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 applicable. Um, we're going to show you in this video how Ooh. it sounds di'd into a desk using its own internal uh, analog speaker emulation. Mm -hmm. We are going to show you how it sounds uh, using the four cable method into a guitar amplifier. Mm. We are going to show you how it sounds used into the effects return of a guitar amplifier. It's just like an alternative Ooh. preamp. Yes, it's got lots of things. In essence though, it is a valve loaded. We like valves. Valves. <laughs> we like valves. We like valves. Uh, three <laughs> channels, so clean, crunch and lead. Yeah. Each with its own assignable boost. Little pedal in a box with cabinet emulation on the yeah. uh, on the back. Uh, I was a little uh, confused. I assumed that what would be inside of this would be two notes, kind of torpedo. Yes, um, me too. That was like emulation. Where's the USB plug in this? Where's but the Bluetooth? It, it doesn't have that. So the no. cabinet emulation on here is uh, analog. Mm -hmm. However, uh, it has a sort of nifty way of using it with um, the two notes. Oh, crikey. Smash it! It's alive! <laughs> uh, the two notes, um, ca cab M, or I guess any other um, cabinet M yeah, yeah, yeah. if you want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our first sound, indeed that opening segment there was Pete playing into this, the effects loop, we're just running the Strymon Flint, so a bit of reverb and... Pe and a compa some... compa compa competitor? A competitor, a yes, absolutely. You know, st uh, one day soon we'll do, you know... They don't Iridium do pedals though, do they? Yeah, but they don't do pedals. Two notes. Two notes. Yeah. Well, this is a pedal. True that, but you know what I mean. You, you just, you just, you just, you just. Here are all the different things that we've got to try and tell you today. But yeah, exactly. anyway, we'll be there. But before we do that, please like and subscribe, because every time we hit 50, another 50,000, you can win something, and it'll be below here. We you are. can win a clone when we hit a million, which hopefully will be this year. So, easy peasy here. Clean, crunch, lead. Each mode has its regular mode or when the uh, valve lights up red, that's its boosted mode, um, or we can switch it off like this. What you're going to hear first is us using the <coughs> analog cabinet emulated out straight into the desk. Okay. All right. Uh, there's a little switch on the front here that enables me to turn the simulation on or off, and it is on. Mm -hmm. So- What is this down that there, the under front there? We got an same, out in, a headphone, and MIDI in and out. MIDI. Yeah, ground lift. Yeah. Okay, M1 this is £349, I think, just mm -hmm. to put this in perspective. So it's pretty, you know, competitive compared to what else is on the market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's get our American clean tone now. Uh, gain, volume, bass and treble dedicated to yeah. that. It's very fat and juicy, yeah. isn't it? It is fat and juicy. Say that you know, I could come up with another couple of things that I've had in Houston too. I want to see does, do, do we get much gain on the American Let's claim? Try it. Will it go a bit? I'm going to go in the back, pick up a lot. Really, but no, it's, it's pokey, it's pokey. So bucket loads of headroom yeah, on yeah. there, not doing, you know, you can't get your, I don't know, maybe like a, if you're used to like a hearing a cranked a deluxe or a Princeton or something like that, it's not really that no. kind of Sounds vibe. good though. Uh, although I wonder if with the boost, let's see. Let's if we see the, the boost. boost. So you just click the same boost. switch there. Yes, indeed. And you get a little red light. Hang on. Okay, we and get you, a Yeah, bit. and you take the volume down on that because it's really pokey. That's good. Now does this, I see, so you've got separate control. Yeah. Okay. 
So we've got, Sorry. we've got one boost level to yeah. control how much boost we want on each channel. So you can't have like a different amount of boost on the lead versus the crunch sound. That's, that'll be all right, wouldn't it? And you can only, you can't run two channels at the same time. No, no. It's, it's, no. So yeah, okay. I'm just, I'm, no, I'm just, I'm just throwing that at you. Agree, you know, ask you know. away. Ask so away. okay, um, let's like say a little bit sound. more of a messing around then with our sort of slightly driven clean tones. Yeah. Okay. Spicy. That's nice, I like Still that. Still got not as much overdrive in it as you might get out of a, you know, a, a, an old Fender tube amplifier or something. Anywho, oh, crunch, so yeah. we've got British crunch. British yeah, crunch. A listen to this. That's a really now, awful chocolate, Crunch isn't it? and right. lead have their own shared EQ, whereas okay. clean has its own separate EQ. But and what have you got there? Listen. You got fair bass, middle and treble, so yeah. you middle as well. I'll just go everything at about sort of like that. <laughs> If the Ooh. boost gave me a bit more volume boost, whereas it's very much just saturation boost. It's, yeah, it's uh, it'll be in into it instead of it out of it. It right? feels that way, doesn't yeah. it? So but that's you, how you, I prefer mine. Okay. My boost. <laughs> That's a good, uh, good rock. I think that sounds good, I man. Sh I should say, just in case anybody is um, getting the wrong idea about what this is, this isn't, an, this isn't an amp as well. So it's not like the little Black Star amp one where no, no, we no. just plugged into a cabinet. No. This is just the preamp section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, here's our lead set. <laughs> I suppose There's nothing wrong in, in that. that. No, and in all fairness, I know I mentioned I wanted the, the boost to perhaps add some volume. Yeah. I guess that's the point of the, the lead and the crunch channel have their own separate volume. Yeah. So if I wanted the lead channel to be a lot louder, I, I could set that. I um, see. Let's just see what the boosted lead sounds like. <laughs> So that, I think that sounds great, man. Yeah, I mean, good example there. So that was DI'd into uh, our computer interface. So mm. again, that would be the type of sound you'd get if you were recording or if you yeah. were playing at a gig and you just gave the, the XLR output to the sound man yeah, and you uh, put the cab sim on, bosh, off you go. Bosh. Now, yes. the purple output on here is connected to the effects return of the DP40 there. Mm -hmm. So if we switch the DP40 on now, we've 
turned the reverb <laughs> off on the DP40, so we're still yep. going to use the, the oh, reverb. There's a lot of gain the there. Uh, so now, of course, you, you've got this kind of hybrid setup, which I imagine is, again, super popular, where you want on stage yes. your own little amplifier so you can hear that, but yep. uh, front of house sound man's getting the yep. emulated output. We're still using the emulated output here, but now all you're going to hear is just the microphones in front mm -hmm. of the, the cabinet. Now, again, it's important to, to know we've gone into the effects return, so we're not using the preamp of the DP40. We're literally using yep. the preamps within the, the two notes revolt. Yeah. Can revolt? a bit more reverb, revolt. please, and some tremolo for the clean there. <laughs> So the, Sorry. the, no, that's fine. I'm getting into say, it of now. course, the, the output here, the purple cable that's going into the uh, effects return of the DP40 has no cabinet emulation on it. No. Nope. So we're only using, so again, the, the combination is cabinet emulation through front of house, no mm. cabinet emulation through the DP40. <laughs> All the features still work, boot. Tremolo off, please. Sorry. That's loud. We can turn it that down loud, a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The master volume on your amp will still work, so maybe that's the issue. Ah. Comes a bit more gla glassy, glassy with that cabinet, right? say <laughs> that's the best sound we've had so far yeah that um, sounds good so this is you know using this as a preamp pedal through a, a, a guitar amplifier into a normal speaker cabinet now but that's great because you then have what comes out into the sound guy and you get a great sound on stage as well with your setup that's really wicked man yeah so wicked. i what guess <laughs> i guess to be fair that you know with the balanced output with the analog cab sim on it yep. here you know there are many many um many many uh, impulse response uh, you know, cab simulations now that are that are better, if you like, more realistic sounding than than a traditional old sort of analog output. Yeah, but they're good at it though, aren't they? They're good at making this sound good Absolutely. coming out. So, so okay. So now I'm going to put the two notes cab M through the effects loop of mm -hmm. the Revolt, and essentially I'm going to switch the analog uh, cab sim off on the Revolt, and obviously we'll be using whichever cab uh, emulation we've picked on the two notes. Um, I can leave the flint in as well if we want to. However, the two notes does have uh, some reverb in there yeah. as well, so don't need that. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take the flint out. I'm just going to literally yes. have the cat. The, the, so you know now all the reverb that you're hearing is coming from the yeah. Cab M. Uh, Cab M also does um, preamp control, so we're going to switch that off within the yep. cabinet. So we're just going to have power amp, speaker emulation, and the reverb effect coming yes. from here. Yes. A few minutes later. Okay, yeah. so we're now using the app on, uh, mm -hmm. this is the Torpedo app on Pete's phone here. You'll see this on screen. Any Two Notes user will probably be familiar with this. Yeah. On the iPhone, we see two pages, one that shows you the um, kind of the, the amp and the, the cabinet that we're emulating. or the Mic position. Sorry, the mic, that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. And reverb, you see a bit of reverb. Nice. And on the other page, you can see some uh, controls around power amp emulation. We've switched the preamp emulation off mm -hmm. of the cab M, obviously, because that's the whole point of having the, the revolt. That's what it is. Uh, so let's, <laughs> and I'll, what I'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll use this cabinet emulation for the clean sound, and then I'll change it on the crunch sound, and you can just get some ideas. Yes. So here we go. Do 
It's all nice and fat, I mean, it's a great sound. The yeah, DI, it's a, a great DI yeah. sound. It is a good sound. Um, do -coo, do -coo, do -coo yeah, stuff. let's just try. Here we go. We'll go to a bit of, bit of overdrive and then maybe uh, something. What have we got here? Classic rock. Royal British Brit vintage. Yeah, we'll just do a bit anything. of classic rock. Yeah, yeah, or absolutely. What else? Royal. Yeah, yeah. Great yeah. example there of just how much the cabinet that you choose. So <laughs> much. That's Maybe my I'll add a little bit more reverb on here. Yeah. We don't. Yeah, I don't want loft. I have spring reverb. Yeah. Loft. That's go. only. I've only got it on the weekend. <laughs> We'll have like a, a, a modern heavy rhythm and then use that with the... Uh... <laughs> I mean... I shouldn't be playing that stuff. Here's your, here's your Eddie 4x12. <laughs> Thank you so much, Eddie. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's, again, you could go all day messing around with yeah. different IRs. And, and you may have your own favourite uh, IR um, speaker emulation unit. Yeah, there's lots of them, lots of them, lots of them. I mean, interestingly, I'm not a million miles sure that I necessarily preferred anything I heard through that than I did to the analogue. No, um, no, I think I think straight up from that, and then you got that into your effects loop in there yeah. with the reverb pedal and and I your think stuff. If, if I was playing live, I would just literally have the analog cab sim on here and just forget about yeah, it. Yeah, give that to maybe, the guys. It, maybe if I've got time to mess around in the studio and I'm really trying to get a tone or whatever, I might. But you can't that control that, right? You can't control. You can't like match that in because there's no MIDI from that to that. That was, does do, do MIDI. You know but I'm not Mi MIDI, sure how that works. MIDI people are. I. You've got MIDI out yeah. on the. Uh, you've got MIDI in and out, sorry, on yeah. the Revolt, but on this new fandangled mini thing. Fandangled? <laughs> uh, and on the uh, Two Notes Cab M, there's a USB socket, so I don't know if it does MIDI over USB, and I absolutely don't know if you can oh. get kind of, you know, this socket to USB. Oh Maybe if you had a separate MIDI controller, you might be able to... To, to adjust the two. Yeah, because then then you could do what we just did with having, you know, yeah, that yeah. thing with that but thing. But you know what Pete and I it. like with MIDI, so let's not go there. Right, so the last thing I want to do now is just very quickly wire this up in the four cable method back with the amplifier. So four cable method um, allows us to co use the guitar amps mm -hmm. preamp mm -hmm. and you know, and switch between whether you're hearing the preamp from the amp or the preamp from the Revo. Yeah. It's kind of ideal if you've got uh, something like the Soldano SLO, where yeah. one of the preamp settings on there is just the best, best sound ever. Best. But maybe you want, uh, you, maybe you want a slightly less gainy uh, mm -hmm. or a better clean sound or whatever. Yeah. Um, but that, that's the kind of idea. 10 seconds later. Right. For this final piece of the video, yeah, this piece of bear system. with. <laughs> okay, so we have four cable method using yeah. the Soldano SLO. Yeah. Apologies if earlier in this video we said we were going to do it with the DP40. Yeah, we wanted to. We, we decided that it made more sense to to do it with the Soldano because then we can use the Soldano's uh, overdriven channel, which is kind of the whole point of four cable method, is to give you the option to still have your mega channel from your own mega if you want it. Um. So what you're hearing, with no lights on here, you're hearing the Soldano's overdrive channel. That's so epic, with, man. With lights on here, <laughs> Every time, sorry. you're hearing the power amp yeah. section of the Soldano, yeah. not the preamp section, but with whichever preamp I've got switched on here. That's 
sounds great though. <laughs> the, the flint is in the effects loop as part of the four cable method. So the yeah. flint is always giving us our reverb. And the DI output from <clears throat> here is also always working as well. So we're getting four cable method and... Yes, but you won't, so you won't get... Yeah, you do. Yes, but you on stage you will get it, but you will get you you'll get all of that stuff. But if you're saying out front of house, if he wasn't micing your cab up, you but, wouldn't get the cab, right? But you will only get that. But you'll hear it. Yeah, I, you'll, I know you, you'll, get, all... you'll get the the Soldano's. Um, you'll get the Soldano's preamp. Oh, sound because that comes out there. Going through. Oh my God. So yeah, I think what my we'll do is, is we'll just we'll literally go be, through then. twenty seconds of each sound, and we'll do the we'll do one round where you're hearing the mics it. on the cab, and the second round we'll, we'll do the, the, the DI output on here. I think it's pretty cool. I think that's really cool. Um, I think that's the way to, to, have, to use this thing, in my opinion. That's the way to use yeah. it. Yeah, so just, uh -huh, it, just uh -huh. so you know, on the little dip switches here on the front, uh -huh. or the uh -huh. micro switches, sorry, the um, four cable method switch is on, and the cabinet simulation switch is on, mm -hmm. so that this is the cabinet emulated output. And you could have re um, delays and all sorts of stuff in that effect. Whatever you want to do. So here we go. This is the Soldano first. Yes. That sound. Here we go. Here's the... Okay. We're going to have like at least seven sounds. Yeah. There. Sounds very similar, doesn't it? Not More compressed with the tube. Well, again, not really a criticism, more of an observation. Um, whatever you, let me just work out how I'm trying to say this. Let's say I, I want the boosted crunch sound. Yeah. I can't get back to oh, the boosted to... crunch sound without literally hitting oh, the crunch see. twice. There's it's no not holding it down or something? Or? I don't think so. It's a good shout, actually. Well, let's see what happens. No, I think it's quite, it's quite simple. Yeah, I don't think so. It's a good sound, Anyway, no? uh, lead sound, sorry. The waffle. final Play. bit of this then, we'll do the same thing again, but now you won't hear the uh, cabinet, you will just hear the uh, DI out okay, here okay, with the okay, emulation. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay, so first, Soldano through yep. the... Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff in one box. I think that's the way to use this pedal. 
Paul Cable method. Oh, that's cool. Well, look, I mean, little other ditty things. We've got a headphone socket on the front here. We've got an auxiliary input socket on the front Get if you want to, you know, that. play along some backing tracks or something like mm -hmm. that. Uh, we mentioned MIDI, didn't we? Ground mm -hmm. lift. It's Same a on this one. Twelve here. volt supply. So I guess as long as you've got one of those multi supplies mm -hmm. that will do. Uh, yeah, like the Fender one. Yeah, you mm -hmm. could have this on a board with a couple of other pedals. So it needs uh, 600 milliamps, so yeah, you might need... Base one as well, which I said, we'll get our base crew to demo that at some point. Yeah, cool um, form factor, I like it. I mean, there's a, there's, there's a fair old bit of choice now, isn't there, at this uh -huh. kind of product, but mm -hmm. hey, I mean, I can't think of anything that's got more stuff on it than this. It's pretty well featured, well, right? Well, you know, yeah, the, some of the others have got reverb and rooms and stuff. This doesn't have any of true, that stuff, you true. know, but I like that it's got three different channels of boost on them. That's pretty cool. So, yep. uh, and, you know, not, shoot not some crazy stuff expensive. Out, yes. Yeah. So there you are. Yeah. Two notes. Revolt, revolt, revolt. Either one. You choose. Yeah. Um, yes, links below. Revolt. I think it's uh, I think it's probably even in stock now. It gets it gets uh, shipped into the UK right at the back end of December 2022. So, right at the back end. Uh, yes. Anyway, au yeah. revoir. And we'll see you in another video soon. Yeah.